So I nominated Henry Ward for Burlington's Best Arts Person of the Year because of the really significant project he did in Burlington in support of the British Red Cross. He donated all of his services as part of this uh, and created this eight foot tall painting of the Queen in her uh, robes as the patron of the Order of St. John, which um, she has been the patron of the British Red Cross for 60 years, making her their longest serving patron in history. So Henry's a distinguished portrait painter who's uh, trained and uh, exhibited fairly widely in his native Britain, but moved to Burlington about five years ago while staying on the fundraising committee of the British Red Cross. I think that Henry's character really exp is an expression of his values around family, around society, around um, the public good and around art. And I see the way that he has orchestrated his life in terms of relocating to Canada um, and continuing to support the British Red Cross and beginning to support this community as well as staying true to his own artistic ideals which are not necessarily in sync with the contemporary art world in every case. I see the way that he's orchestrated his life around those values as an admirable trait of a really well-developed mind. Uh, we nominated Jim Riley and we nominated him for the Arts Person of the Year. And the reason why we nominated him for, for the Arts Person of the Year is because I feel like his body work, uh, he's just been an instrumental part of the arts and culture community here in the city. So being working alongside him in committees, city committees, but also being on arts boards and, and actually going to events and I see him around, I can see him just fully supporting him full circle. So whether he's curating the ex experience or he's attending the experience from a, a citizen perspective or he's a voice online, he's been a, just an a instrumental part of the arts and culture community here in uh, Burlington. I think for that he's a shining example of how other artists can come to Burlington and really grow um, the arts and culture community in this city. So yeah, he's a great champion for our, for our city. Erica Villabrosa is nominated for the Art Person of the Year Award for Burlington's Best. Erica adds value and interest to the art pieces in the store through her own artistic final touches on some pieces and also through unique upcycled framing that she makes available to some clients. Erica engages everyone who crosses her path with her warmth and generous spirit. Erica has a particular interest in community outreach, including her work with March of Dimes and Plan Canada. Erica's art pieces often have a social message that encourages the viewer to look around and see the need in the community at large. Erica often upcycles materials for her pieces, including uh, found pieces of wood or retail packaging materials um, for framing and for the medium of the art itself. I nominated Margaret Lindsay Holton, uh, known as Lindsay, um, for Burlington's Best Artist of the Year. Uh, the reason I nominated Lindsay was for her breadth of work that she's done here in the Burlington area. Uh, Lindsay was born in Burlington and has worked as a furniture designer, a uh, writer, a photographer, painter and recently as a filmmaker. Uh, Lindsay has had a great impact on um, Burlington and our community. Um, through her last work, she uh, developed a film called The Frozen Goose, which is a story she wrote about World War I here in Burlington. And it was set in the Burlington area. A lot of film uh, shots were taken up on the escarpment. And it brought a great feeling, a great introduction to people of the beauty of the area and so I think it's introduced people to quite what we have here in Burlington for natural beauty. But just that feeling that I get when I'm with her that anything's possible, um, that if you focus on doing your best, uh, you can always achieve something.